Next, 12 times 2 is 24, plus one more is 25. Carry this line with it. Change this to an improper fraction. 4 times 5 is 20, and 2 that you had gives us 22. Take the sign with it. Next step, keep the first fraction, change the operation to multiplication, use the reciprocal. Let's see if we can do any um, simplification. Here we can on this diagonal, 4 divides into itself one time, 4 divides into 12 three times. There isn't anything we can do on this diagonal, so we're ready to do our multiplication. 25 times 1 is 25. 3 times 22, well, if you can eyeball it, we're going to go to our 1's column. 3 times 2 is 6, and then to our 10's column, another 6. All right, let's see if this fraction is reducible. Are they both even? No. Do they both end in a 0 or a 5? No. Are they both twin double digits? Just 66. If we added the digits, would 3 and 9 be able to work? 2 plus 5 is 7. 3 is not going to divide into that. Uh, will 7 work? No, 7 does not divide into 25 evenly. So this would have to be done with a prime number that's bigger than all of the ones from our divisibility chart. 13 won't evenly divide into 25. If we have two 13s, if we have that, that gives us a 26, so we're shy. Um, 17, no, two 17s is 34, so we're, uh, we're ahead of ourselves. 19's not going to work, and the next one is 23. That doesn't even. So this is in lowest terms right now. Ask yourself your question. Are the signs the same? Yes, this is a positive 2566. Next, we're going to have to get improper fractions. 2 times 7 is 14. We can get 14 halves out of 7 whole pots. 14 and 1 we had is 15 halves. Take the sign with it. 4 times 1 is 4. We can get 4 fourths out of 1 whole. Plus we already had one, so that's 5 fourths. Take the sign with it. Now we're going to copy the first fraction. Change the sign to multiplication, the operation symbol, and use the reciprocal, putting on the sign. All right, checking the diagonals. Oh, this one is a gift. We can go both diagonals. Sweet. 2 goes into itself once. 2 divides into 4 twice. 5 divides into itself once. 5 divides into 15 three times. Let's do our multiplication. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. So this one was 3 times 3 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And now we're going to reduce that fraction. Anything over 1 is whole. We have a 6 here. Finally, we get a chance to, to go for our question on this. Are the signs the same? No. This 6 is a negative. It's a negative 6. 